Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I've had actually a few questions already about my upload schedule for Vlogmas. My upload schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And today when you're watching this, this is a Thursday upload day. I woke up in such a chilled out mood today. And today was the first morning that I listened to Christmas songs in the morning. I haven't really felt that Christmassy yet. I haven't even got a tree or a wreath or anything. I should really get a wreath at some point today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a tree because my Christmas plans are still up in the air of where I'm gonna be. And I don't know if I actually, oh, I don't know if I want a tree. I don't know, I feel kind of funny about a tree this year. Just made such a mess last year and I ended up having to clean it up every single day and it just got annoying but then fake trees don't look the same, do they? Maybe I should just get a little tiny tree, like a little cute one or something. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna get a tiny little tree because I don't really like fake trees, they just look too fake and I've had fake ones in the past. I love real trees but I hate the maintenance of them and if I'm not even here for Christmas then it feels a bit pointless. I don't know, I guess it will only be there for two weeks and that feels kind of wasteful. Just gonna have my morning call with Liv. This is how we literally start. Hi. Morning, Dolly. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I am good, I have a very early start, you're impressed. So impressed with your early start. How was the raise meeting? It was really interesting, actually. lipstick I unboxed in my last vlog, Princess Kiss by Charlotte Tilbury, which is a gorgeous colour. I don't know if this is just for Christmas because I didn't have this colour before. I'm going to wear my favourite earrings. Well, I say this about all my earrings, don't I? They look like regular hoops and they have details of the moon and a little hanging, dangling star on them as well, which make them so special. Let me put this in. Oh, my doorbell's ringing. Oh, hold on. That was just the delivery for one of my best friends who lives next door. <laughs> These are what they look like on. So when you kind of turn to the side, you can see the little details of them. But then from the front, they just look like hoops. And then you kind of turn your head and it's like, oh, oh, there's a little dangly star. Oh, you can see the detail of the moon. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, anyway, the phone call I just had with Liv, I need to go and get Duke in a sec, by the way. But the phone call I just had with Liv was all about our charity sale that we have coming up. Last year, you might remember, that I did a charity beauty and fashion sale. This year it's just beauty, because that was really what everyone wanted. I kind of saw when we did the sale last year. And it's literally amazing, amazing stuff. It's a lot of stuff that I've donated that I've been sent. It's all brand new things, all designer items, all amazing, amazing things. I have so many advent calendars as well. My friend Estee has donated so much stuff. My friend Twee has as well. So I'm so grateful to the other bloggers for like getting involved in donating things. And tickets are five pounds. Um, we're doing that so to we get a better idea of numbers because last year we didn't really have that and when we were buying food and drink and stuff we just didn't really know but the five pound is a direct donation to Rays of Sunshine charity which is a gorgeous charity. I'll leave their details down below and I'm so excited. I'll obviously be there the whole time so I'll be there helping you shop and hang out and everything and it's going to be 5.30 this Monday, Monday the 9th. I believe it is, yeah, Monday the 9th. And I cannot wait to see you guys get beauty bargains and beauty discounts because everything is more than half price. And it's all like designer amazing um, brand new products. So yeah, I'll leave a ticket link down below by the way, in case you want to come. It is the most amazingly beautiful crisp day in Chelsea. I feel like in London in winter we so rarely get days like this where it actually lasts. Like sometimes it's like this for 10 minutes when it rains, you know? So when it is like this, I just love walking everywhere. It's just so magical and nice to feel the breeze. I'm going to go and get Duke from the hair hairdresser. I almost said hairdresser. I mean like the haircut place. He was looking really scraggly this morning. 
so I'm really happy to <laughs> see him looking like a little pom pom bear. Get him. Oh, my eyes are watering because it's so cold. Oh, look at that neat little haircut. Come on. Let's go. All right, back at home. Do you come? Come here. Show everyone your haircut. Come here. Come. What's this? Do you want this? Haha. <laughs> Fell for it. It's nothing. Sucker. <laughs> and we are waiting for the amazing Ruby to come join us. Oh, I should get my poetry book from upstairs. It's in my bedside table. Um, to have on hand. Yeah, Person I'm going to sign it. it. Yes, I should go to sign it. Yeah, it's crunch time, literally. <laughs> How good are those corn I love corn. They're so great. Our podcast. Mm. They're so good. Yeah, I'm very love excited. Corn, I, was I, I was reading all of Ruby's Instagram <coughs> Instagram poems, and then mm. how does she? She's just so got, I want to find out what. She seems to have a constant source of inspiration. I know. She's to the bottom of that. How many times has she had her heart broken is what I want to know. I was accessing that really deep part of myself every single day. I don't mm. know if I'd be able to sort of be equally as productive on a day-to-day -day basis. So you should definitely ask her about that. Even, I was thinking about that because even when we do these podcasts, mm -hmm. it kind of oh, takes my... a lot out of me to go back into that state sometimes. Know, so like... Afterwards, after this, I can tell you, I'm not, I, w I don't have anything else to plan for this afternoon. Not that I'm not productive every single day. <laughs> I find it quite difficult to go back to to sort of not yeah it's quite difficult to get back mm. into your daily routine because we're talking about things that are fairly sensitive I called my mum after I laughed on after Misty and I said I, I need to sit down for a minute mm. did you do the 16 personalities test yes and then it's I, scary accurate isn't it it was absolutely mental and then after that I just couldn't stop thinking about my purpose and I, mm. I wrote everything down and I looked at all the different things I'm doing and like, thinking about what feeds me and just making sure that sort of like my values and my actions are all in this like spiral that leads to the centre of like, the what I actually want. Mm. Let me put this here. And I think that it's really interesting because... Hold on. I, thank God, touch yeah. wood, I'm not going through a heartbreak or anything. But I still found that really useful. I know! That's what loads of people said actually, that yeah. even though... They're not going through a heartbreak. They still find their purpose. It's my intention. A lot of the different lessons we've because I think that a cycle, a cycle can end in one part of your life, and you might your like the one your relationship mm. part of your life could still be going really well. And I think that even if been, you change jobs, or something. yeah, it's been interesting to see how you're talking about it from a very love perspective. But when I listen to it, obviously I've listened to it before, but it relates to me in another way. Mm -hmm. Just from your job, you mean? What? And from life? From life and mm. from jobs and then also like what you want within your own relationship and what you want within your relationship maybe with a sibling or family yeah. and with all these sorts of, yeah, all these sorts of things. Mm. I have a really good relationship but I don't necessarily always love, think I've got a very good relationship with myself. Mm. And the two are... That's the hardest one. Yeah. I would never say to people what I say to myself in my head. Oh, 100% not. And then I think it's, it's very, when you often sort of admit to people and say like, I don't have a very good relationship to myself, people respond as if you've said something really brave. But I think the reality mm -hmm. is, is that we just need to all start having a very open and honest conversation with each other about, yeah, like, I don't, I had to learn to love myself. I didn't love myself and that often an illusion of com co having real confidence and having an illusion of confidence are two very different yeah. things. I think my younger sister has real inner confidence, but I put on an illusion of confidence. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting. Um, two very different, like the loudest person in the room is not often yeah, the happiest 100%. person in the room. It's really interesting. I don't know one person that's the loudest person in the room that's really confident inside. Yeah. I feel like I might cry during this recording. Do you think so? Yeah. I was going up to a tear last week. Can um, I finish recording? Oh yeah, of course. I'm almost at that time of the month, so I'm crying at anything. Oh. Anything. I cried in the crown. Oh, so am I. We're a bit on cycle. How lovely. Or is it annoying that we're eating, probably? <laughs> yeah. You can All they can hear is my loud country. <laughs> have, you, have you watched Modern Love? On Amazon. I need to watch it. Everyone. I'm going to finish This Is Us. Mm. But I wail every episode. But it's quite cathartic. I, I find this is us. Have you watched mm. it? Yeah, I'm obsessed. Oh, ah, and Mrs. Maisel's coming back. Oh, when? Um, in four days, I'm counting. In <laughs> I four love days? so much. I like to think I am Mrs. Maisel. Mm. 
a bit less formally dressed than she was, but nonetheless. I feel so My skincare style. routine is as extensive. Mm, and you're funny, you like her. Thanks. Thanks for the compliment. No problem. Came here for a podcast, left with a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for Ruby today. I'm kind of nervous. Are you? Mm. I wonder if her voice in person is going to match up the voice that I've made up in my head that she has. <laughs> How funny is that that you do that? You create such a picture of someone in your head, then you meet them. And you're like, oh, did you live up to the fantasy I've constructed? That's what I was thinking. Like, if I, I think she's going to, because so far so. everyone else has. I was thinking about this, like, if I start dating now, if someone... Like, let's say I met on an app or something. I'm not on any apps yet. I, have, I haven't been brave enough. But if they saw me, mm. they could know what I sound like. Whereas I couldn't know what they sound like. And that is true. How weird is that? That is very weird. Unless oh, they were so also weird. a blogger. <laughs> and do you know who else I spent a lot of... It sounds really creepy. I promise you I'm not that creepy. I spent a lot of fantasizing about what Anushka would be like before we met her. Mm. And she loved that to her. She definitely speaks so nicely yeah. to herself, mm. doesn't she? All right, I am sat down in the hot seat with the amazing Ruby, Hi. ready to record the podcast. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say, Ruby. Yeah. I'm absolutely buzzing, so I can hear us twice in this little headphones, ready to go. Belly, you ready? I'm ready to go. It's business. Yeah. All business. right. Okay. Okay. Talk relationships. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dreamt of it my whole life. So cool. Soul dream is oh, I was for I had the I'm asking Ruby I to sign. I my signed book. my cousin's book once and she was like, You really need a stamp. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm excited to see this now. Okay, I'm I'm okay. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. It's fine. I have very low expectations now. Yeah. You've told me that you can't I'm write. I'm watching my handwriting as well. I said that you can't write, but you know what I mean. You can obviously write. It's but you're hard. Oh, I've got such a good question. Ruby, yeah. when you write your passages, do you write them down by hand or do you type them? Have you seen my handwriting? <laughs> okay, so you two That should be like your bio, like I don't know the writer to. that can't, write. can't read her own handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a doctor. It's true, it's true. I try I like to believe that it's because we're too smart, so you know, but that's not true, but you know. Thank <laughs> you. Wait, I wanna see now. So impatient. So oh, I'm Has so excited for your new book. book. Mm -hmm. No, because he doesn't know how to read it. Guys, what a great song, no? What a TBT of the song. Can this guy move? Having road rage because I was supposed to be at the dentist a hundred years ago and I'm late. My dentist, I know always is running late. I've never been there and not waited for at least 20 minutes. So I've been going to them for like 10 years. So fingers crossed my previous research has proved me right. Gosh, look at how nice that light is. Can I follow that? It's so nice. I love winter sun. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed I'm not that late because I'm going to the hygienist um, to just, you know, clean everything up a little bit. But that was great recording with Ruby. I mean, she was not what I expected at all in a great way like her personality was just so bubbly and so fun and she was one of those people that you meet and you feel like you've known for ages like I guess I thought she'd be much more reserved but in a kind of open way if that makes any sense at all oh my gosh look at that sun behind me I'm like driving away from the sunset and it just I can even just like feel the light coming in, it's so beautiful. I'm going to the dentist now and then after that I have acupuncture. I haven't had acupuncture in a while and a while for me to not have acupuncture is like two weeks because <laughs> I have it so often. I literally live for acupuncture. I feel like I am so addicted to the screens that I really need someone to like take away my phone, stick needles in me so that I can't even move. And not even that, it really does make such a difference to how my body functions. I would honestly highly recommend it. What's so funny is I've been going to this woman for so long that she knows my pulses so well. So first she'll feel my pulses and then do the acupuncture treatment based on what she feels in my body basically. And um, she'll touch by my pulses, she will tell me 
and where I am in my cycle. Like if I've had a lot to drink that weekend, she can tell from my pulses, like without me telling her anything. It's crazy how much you can know from literally your pulses because apparently there are quite a few here. So every single time I ask her so, so, so many questions. Um, and it's also interesting when she puts the acupuncture needles in you, what ones I don't feel at all and what ones are so painful. Like if I'm really stressed out and my IBS is flaring up and she'll put one in one of my stomach points or in my liver points or in my um, intestine points, it, it will hurt quite a bit. And I'll be like, oh, what one is that? And it's always related to what I'm feeling in my body at that moment blows my mind i would honestly highly highly recommend acupuncture yes here we go give me the parking right outside baby oh yeah it's always that weird feeling when you leave the dentist where your teeth feel so slippery like i'm just like <laughs> it's a bit weird anyway i just left the sun has officially set and it is the most beautiful sunset let me show you we do not get sunsets like this in winter time in London, do we Londoners? My cleaner has just been and put on my brand new sheets which have my initials on them. These are from Yves Delorme and they are so snug. She even commented, she was like, these are the nicest sheets. I was like, I know, I cannot wait to get into bed now. Oh, snug and soft, I love them and you can actually pick the colour that you have embroidered on. I picked this gorgeous golden shade. It was really hard to pick what to go for because they have such a wide selection of amazing sheets to choose from but that was one of their best selling ranges so I'll link it down below because it is literally like sleeping on a cloud. Like I really wanted my new place to have like a hotel bed feel. You know, whenever you go to a hotel room, like I always feel like this is the nicest bed I've ever slept in and the sheets are always so snuggly and soft and like it feels like a cloud. That was what I wanted my home bed to feel like. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go to a meeting now and I'm wearing this new dress which I showed you in my last Vlogmas and I'm getting good use out of it. I'm wearing it with these purple boots and my purple bag as well. And then I've put in my little hair slide which is currently 40% off so I will link that down below as well. And also my stud earrings which I love. These are like my sunburst stud earrings. I actually Liv came up with these because it was a dangly earring there was stuff dangling dangling off it and we didn't end up liking that and she was like what about just studs and I was like oh my god amazing so this is the live earring basically for some reason this morning I got so distracted doing other things that I was like oh my gosh crap it's time to leave and I haven't eaten anything yet um so I literally bought my toast in the car a good old classic last minute breakfast Toast, almond butter, honey. If I was sitting down to eat it, I would have put blueberries on top, but I was running to my car down the street and I just envisaged like blueberries rolling around on the floor and rolling out and rolling in and stuff. So I scrapped the blueberries today. It's the Dolly on the phone. You look like cool ex winter. Is it kind of like, you know, uh, and after my testing out a new gone. secret by so Terry clever. Oh, <laughs> Look at this tester packaging of Ombre Black Star. Oh my gosh, look. That is what I want. I wanted a lighter bronze moon. So I'm so happy. Oh, wow. Looking at the new creations from the palette factory. Oh, look how cool this one is. Oh my God, it goes with the phone case. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Just left our meeting and now, where are you going, Dolly? Oh, bye. Wait, where are you going? I'm here. Where are you going? Oh, bye. Is that it? Oh, see you then. A lunch. A lunch. Enjoy your lunch. Do you like these sunglasses? Yeah, they're Henry's. <laughs> they look great. I might get my own pair. I think you should. Um, okay, okay. I might see you later, no. I'll see you. I've got lunch and that's it. I'll see you. Tomorrow. I'm seeing you loads tomorrow. And see you Friday. You loads Friday. tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Bye. <laughs> I just had a meeting by Terry oh, and they kindly gave me a bag of goodies which I will unbox shortly and show you what's inside. What do you think's inside? What do you think, baby? Oh. <laughs> oh, I knew you were gonna go for that. 
I knew it, but my cleaner just came. No, she came this morning, but I changed my mind. You can't have it. No, 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 you're gonna make a mess. Oh, it's game over, isn't it? The things we do when our dogs get enjoyment, hmm? Why? Why do dogs love doing this? Are you quite finished? Let's have a look at these. These were some of the new palettes that are coming out in January. Here are some of my absolute favorite by Terry products. First of all, the by Terry Terribly Danceless Foundation, which, you know, I have loved and used for absolutely yonks. The Stilo Expert Click Split Stick. This is a great concealer. I also wanted to try their toner, actually. This is a wonderful eye cream that actually I gave to my sister a while ago. No. Oh, you are in a right mood today, aren't you, cheeky monkey? What happened? I took you on a long walk this morning and you're being free. Here, no, 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 not the product, just the box. There you go. You can have the box. Anyway, yeah, I gave this to my sister because it has an amazing cooling applicator like that, which is so nice to use. And now I have my own. <laughs> and you have your own, don't you? Cheeky monkey! You are such a monkey! You know, after my conversation yesterday saying that I really need a Christmas wreath, I'm now looking online and there are so many Christmas wreaths. Let me just enter my postcode and see. I'm looking at Flower Box, Flume, um, what is this other place called? Bloom and Wild, and they have really cute mini trees as well. So maybe I will get into the Christmas festivities. Oh my God, there are so many. Oh, this is a gorgeous wreath. Oh, and they can deliver the same day. Look how pretty that is. I also saw this one, which was on the flower station and this one, which is on Bloom and Wild, which I really like. Just getting ready to shoot a special project. Bea is laughing because I literally burnt mid sentence. I'm gonna start my sentence again. Just getting ready to shoot a special project for Armani. And you, oh my gosh, you are up to no good today. And um, this is my little outfit. I have my pajamas there. And this is what happens when we're shooting in the bathroom. The secret cupboard of doom. Who's, oh, who's ready for this? Dun dun dun. <laughs> I just went like this because I thought I know, out. that was so funny. There's too many mirrors. Alright, we are on to the last shots. So let's do this and you'll see this on my Instagram soon. I know, he only goes for the cashmere socks. Yeah. This dog. <laughs> only the cashmere socks for you. Okay. okay. Ready? Okay. Action. <laughs> I just kissed. I just Good one, I can feel it. Is my, is my boob too out? Filming is done. Seeing as I'm wearing this new Armani lipstick, I changed my outfit, added an extra hair clip, put on this amazing Santini coat, which one of my viewers kindly sent to me. And I have my little jeans on, grey boots, and Chanel bag ready to rumble. And I love... Sorry, you can see the mess of my outfits in the background, but I love this new lipstick. This is the shade 571G in the Christmas Lip Magnets, and it's so pretty. It's so festive. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. You know what I just realized, guys, is I filmed my entire Armani video with lunch still in my teeth. So I really hope that didn't pick up on camera because that would be a freaking disaster. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, thank you, madame. <laughs> oh, careful of this bike. All right, here we go. Covent Garden, the land of shopping and the land of Glossier pop up. This was all hand drawn by the team in America, and there are five different rooms in here. <gasps> oh, yeah, give me the goods. The wonderful Gabby at Glossier is showing me this scarf, <laughs> which you can get gift with purchase. 
if you spend sixty pounds. What's that? One? That is that's cub. And then this is what I've got. This is gorgeous. Uh, I need this colour. This is so pretty. That's curb, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, literally. You spent half an hour in room one and then five rooms. Yeah. I'm going to be here for a while. So they each represent a mood. What are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like I want to look at my bedroom. <laughs> You've already got a good wallpaper. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre and I were just in a cab and we just jumped out because look at this incredible sunset. We want to try and take a little insta. Do do do, this is the far world. <laughs> I say I don't want to. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Right oh my god, it's a royal! <laughs> Royal's so coming royal. through! Oh my god, who do you think it is? Is the police gonna grab my vlog camera? I'm scared. <laughs> the car being like, Harry! <laughs> is it Harry? <laughs> what if it's Megs? Harry. What if it's Prince George? Okay, five, four, you have five seconds to see who it is. Are okay. they gonna kill okay. me? Because okay. I'm holding my vlog camera, I'm no, scared. Okay. okay, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, that was a huge anti climax. <laughs> That's savage. Royal alert! <laughs> royal alert! There's another royal. There's another down. royal coming through. There's yeah, royals all over the place. Who's it going to be? Out the windows. Okay, but let me sometimes see. you see the queen. You know why we're so interested now? Yeah. Because we've been watching the crown. I know, it's now so true. Like, oh, I'm just going, okay, come on, this has got to be someone this huge. Is this is someone massive. Is Who is it? Who is it? Anyone? Can you see anyone? Who were there? Who was it? Do you know what? I feel like I saw a bit of a balding head. Oh my god, wait, careful of my stuff. <gasps> okay, you're still here. Right, look how everything is tinted pink okay. in the sunset. All cars means yeah. It's I it's yeah, it's a royal. Yeah, it's a. It was. We saw Prince William. Prince William <laughs> I've lost her to the sunset, Graham. Oh dear. This is where we were shooting, by the way. This is the risks we take for the Graham. It's so clear for winter. We've had two incredibly clear days. Just shot a little Instagram sesh with Pia. We literally saw that amazing sunset and jumped out and got it. Great. And now I am walking to uh, the House of Elements. Oh, I actually need to check I'm walking the right way. Alright, is this Grove Street? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's keep going. We're going down. I am having a treatment at the House of Elemis, which I am so excited about. It is one of my favourite places to go. I've only been once or twice. I say favourite, but I've only been once or twice. But you know when something just, and I haven't been for like maybe like a year, you know when something just stands out in your mind as just one of the most amazing treatments you've ever had. That is how I feel about the House of Elements. Like I feel zen even thinking about going there, you know? So it's a very beauty focused day today, isn't it? Back to my roots when my blog used to be called Liana Beauty. Just in the Elemis penthouse, the double bed situation, about to have a mineral massage and it's hot and all the minerals are underneath here. And there's rose quartz as well, which is apparently very healing. And we are going to be using this beautiful oil muscle release. Oh, it's warm, it's heated. <gasps> I didn't realise that. It feels very weird in this bed. It's heated, but it's like... It feels like I'm on one of those, you know those squishy balls that you used to have as a kid that were filled with flour? It feels a bit like that. But anyway, I will see you on the other side. Mmm, that was good. What's my bubs doing? Did you put a coat onto the floor to sleep on? Yeah? Do you enjoy sleeping on coats? Hello, bubs. My lipstick is off, but I had a craving. A craving, people. For Pizza Express. Dough balls. Oh wow. Little squishy balls of goodness. We're in the big old empty room because I wanted to show you what I got. 
whilst I was beauty shopping. I kind of showed you a bit of the by Terry stuff from today, but maybe I'll show you that again in a second. But the Glossier store, I've literally never ever seen such a busy store. This they literally launched today, it says skincare edit, and it's all recycled packaging. And it feels really kind of cool and different. Like look how that's packaged, it's all minis, all for traveling, and it says skincare edit. So let's have a look inside. Gosh, their packaging is cool, isn't it? Ooh, how did this open? Oh, here. Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? That's great packaging. I've never seen that before. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, okay, so this is all minis. I love the Future Dew. That's an amazing product. Haven't tried the Milky Jelly Cleanser. This is the Super Bounce Serum. A mini balm.com. We have a mini rich primer, a face flannel, and a rosebalm.com. This would be an amazing Christmas gift. I'm gonna link it down below for any Glossier lovers or skincare lovers, because even if you have the products already, like I have the future due, but I'd be very happy to receive it in a mini size and you wouldn't even need to wrap it, which is great because I hate wrapping presents. What is in here? I love their packaging, how they come in these bags. I find them so useful. In here, um, basically, I really wanted to try the Priming Moisturizer in Rich because my skin is just quite dry at the moment. I'm noticing like a lot of fine lines and things and I just want to tr try as much and a different kind of moisturizing things as I can. This is the Moisturizing Moon Mask, which I believe I've tried back in the day, but I want to really give it a proper go. I can't remember if I've tried it or the clay mask, but anyway, then I also got the pro tip eyeliner pen which i love now i've had mine for maybe two months since it launched and i use it all the time you guys know i love eyeliner it's a great one and the lid stays on because wait let me show you because sometimes eyeliner lids don't stay on and it's a bit annoying but listen that is a proper click you know wait i'm just gonna give it to you again yeah okay <laughs> Um, I also wanted to try their cloud paint. I got the color puff. Now I tried this in the store and it might be a bit too pinky for me, but I will give it a go. Then I got boy brow because I always love a bit of brow grooming products and Liv keeps raving about this. Here who works with me is basically Miss Glossier and she was like, this is, this is what you need, you need this. She's tried like every single product from them. I can hear you outside and I just remember that I need to feed him. So hold on. Nom, 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 nom. All right, the second thing was from Elemis as part of their Christmas collection. Oh, let's have a look in here. Now, the Elemis Frangipani collection is one of my all-time favorites. I've spoken about it for years and years and years. I think one of their first ever products I tried was their Frangipani Munoi body oil. And you basically like heat it up underwater. It's solid and then it becomes an oil when it's hot. It's so cool. So yeah, this is part of their Christmas collection. Let's open this up without ruining it, maybe. Oh, there we go. Can someone please tell me, what are these supposed to do? So in here we have a hand and nail balm, shower cream, body polish, and the body oil that I just talked about. Now the body oil, it's crazy, it's totally solid. Look at that, how weird, nothing comes out. You literally need to melt it. But the frangipani scent just Last but not least, by Terry. Now I can show you everything a bit more up close. A lot of the stuff you've here heard me spoken about before, but I actually decided I wanted to show you the palettes, which are coming out in January. Now these are the VIP Expert palettes. It's basically Paris by Light and Paris by Night. They have the most gorgeous embossing on them. But more importantly, look at that packaging. Up my street, a real mix of shimmers and bronzies. And what is really exciting about that collection is that it also comes with a limited edition Lash Expert mascara, which is the mascara that I love from By Terry. So I'm gonna just depackage everything. This is the limited edition mascara packaging, by the way. It's about to get wild up in here because I ordered some cutlery trays. Now, this 
actual situation was quite hard to find cutlery trays for. They were really hard to find ones that fit in these drawers. They were from a place I literally found online. I like Googled with the measurements called Clutter Free Kitchens. I am so excited because as you can see, everything has been scattered in the drawer like that. Not the prettiest, but they will definitely work. Don't say I don't bring you that riveting content. Skincare brand that I'm loving right now is called Aurelia. It's all probiotic skincare and their ingredients are the balm. I probably used a bit too much there. Now I'm gonna use their probiotic concentrate. It says apply one to three pumps on your skin. You're supposed to put it on your directly cleansed skin or mix it with your moisturizer. I'm gonna use my little bit of drunk elephant and that will be that. So I will see you on Sunday with another Vlogmas video.